And here, new at six, allegations that an in-prison gang sold drugs, cell phones, even luxury clothing inside of a Georgia prison. The indictment also spells out how the gang tried to have a guard killed, but sent the hitman to the wrong address. It involves inmates at Smith State Prison in Glenville in Tattnall County. And Channel 2 investigative reporter Mark Winnie got the indictment today. Mark with us live at GBI headquarters in DeKalb County. You know, the indictment describes a contraband crisis. It says the Georgia Department of Corrections has a criminal investigative, uh, investigative division that aggressively works to identify and criminally charge corrupt staff. Uh, but it says because many inmates currently smuggling contraband encourage their co-conspirators on the outside of the prison system to apply for GDC jobs, CID is in a cycle of whack-a-mole investigations of GDC staff. Now the GBI is on the case. I'd known Mr. Bobby for many years. He had served in the Korean War, and he was just an outstanding member of our community. He was involved in his church. He was involved in the local history of Glenville and Tattnall County. I just can't say enough about what an outstanding and good, good man Mr. Bobby was. Their director says GBI agents discovered 88-year-old Bobby Kicklider was murdered when the killer went to the wrong house. That an officer working at a place that houses wrongdoers, Smith State Prison, who lived next door to Kicklider, was the intended target. That was actually a hit order on a correction officer who was uh, a straight-up righteous guard who couldn't be bought, couldn't be intimidated, couldn't be threatened, and... Uh, the hit went wrong. But GBI Director Vic Reynolds says GBI agents discovered much more involving the prison, including two more allegedly related murders, leading to a sweeping murder and racketeering indictment brought with the help of Georgia's Prosecuting Attorney's Council, set against a backdrop of corruption and contraband at Smith State Prison, including illegal cell phones, drugs, and more. Cell phones, drugs, clothing, money virtually anything you wanted you could get. The April 25th indictment accuses Nathan Weeks, Christopher Reginald Sumlin Jr., Keisha Janae Jones, and Ariel Deshea Murphy of malice murder in Kicklider's death. And Weeks, Sumlin, and Ms. Jones are charged with conspiracy to violate the Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act. The indictment suggests to facilitate the flow of contraband inside the prison. Inmates offer guards financial incentives, and many times corrupt guards are paid in cash. But when financial incentives don't work, inmates and co-conspirators Conspirators use violence and threats. It says Weeks was committed to the Georgia Department of Corrections for a series of armed robberies in DeKalb County, and at Smith, he began to organize the smuggling of large amounts of contraband. Ms. Jones is described as a girlfriend of Weeks and his treasurer and facilitator outside the prison. The indictment indicates someone was committed to GDC for burglary and gun charges in connection with crimes in Coweta County, housed for a time at Smith, but out at the time of the crimes alleged in the indictment. It alleges last year Weeks and Jones sent someone to murder a corrections officer and they shot and killed Bobby Kicklider. The indictment suggests one act of racketeering involving Weeks and someone was malice murder in connection with the death of Jerry Lee Davis and that Weeks, Jones and others committed malice murder in connection with the death of Jessica Gerling. The indictment says Ms. Gerling was employed at Smith as a corrections officer until GDC terminated her for bringing in contraband at the direction of Weeks. Tattnall County Sheriff Kyle Sapp said he requested the GBI's help on the Kicklider killing and his office has assisted the GBI agents. The GBI has done an outstanding job with this case. Now, we attempted to get a comment from an attorney in behalf of Weeks. A spokesman says the state's public defender system is supplying lawyers to Ms. Jones, Ms. Murphy, and Sumlin, and that all three will get zealous representation, but he can't comment on the substance of the case today. Reporting live at GBI headquarters, Mark Winnie, Channel 2 Action News.